your Thursday new product post. This week we've got a few new switches to talk about. First up, we've got this nifty little on, on momentary. It's got three positions. In its normal state, it's off, and then we've got a momentary on, and another momentary on. It's got these nice solder lugs and screw terminals at the back, so you can wrap a wire around it and screw it in there, or you can solder directly to these lugs. And these can handle 125 volts AC at 15 amps. So it's a pretty beefy switch, and it even has a panel mount here, so you can just drill a hole, screw it in, and you're good. Next up, we've got a five-way selector switch. This switch you would find commonly in electric guitars, and this would be used to select between the various pickups. It's got a nice little lever here, and it's got a nice clicking feel to it when you switch it. It's got the solder terminals on the back, so you would just poke a wire through, solder it on, you have a nice clean connection. And even has this nice little plastic cap on the end of the lever. In addition, it's got two little mounting holes, so you would just drill into whatever it is you're trying to mount this to, push this up through the body, and screw it in. So it's a pretty handy little five-way selector switch. And we've also got a handy little miniature key switch. This is a lot smaller than some of the other key switches you might have seen. It comes with a set of two keys and the key switch itself. It's relatively small. You can panel mount this and the way that you operate it is you just put in the key and turn it. And there you go. That's your on and that's your off. So it's pretty handy if you need to control a button being pressed. If you don't just want any button always being pressed, you want to have a key that you have to have to be able to operate it. This switch is pretty neat. Some of you may recognize this robot platform. This is the Rover 5 platform that we had in the video a couple weeks back. Except for this one's been pimped out a little bit. We've added some decals, we've added some headlights, we've cleaned up the electronics, and we've added mechanism wheels. What exactly are mechanism wheels? Mechanism wheels are a wheel that allows you to not only travel forward and backward, but also side to side. They have these little rollers on the wheel that when pushed inwards, it will force the robot away from it and then pulled in, it will pull the robot forward. So not only can the robot go forward and backward, but it can also go side to side. And with creative mixing and creative control, you can even make the robot go diagonal. And of course, you can still rotate it like that. So it basically offers you every range of motion that you would ever want to get out of a robot. So if you're trying to travel in a maze or anything like that where you can't necessarily turn, this robot could go forward and then strafe sideways and then keep going. So they're pretty neat. We sell these in packages of four. They look something like this. They come with this main hub, the little rubber pieces that are effectively the wheels, and then all the other hardware, including this little hub. The thing to note is the hub actually has a smaller inner diameter than what the Rover 5 platform takes. So we just had to drill these out to the appropriate diameter and we were fine. The other thing that you might want to know about these wheels is there's a couple little tricks in getting them to work right. We spent a lot of time trying to get this just right and we figured it all out for you. One of the most important things is the weight balance of your robot. If there's too much weight on the front or too much weight on the back, the wheels are not going to want to travel laterally as well as it would if it was perfectly flat. So keep the robot as flat as you can. The other thing to note is there's a lot of friction on these wheels when you're traveling sideways, so you want to lubricate these as much as possible. If they're not lubricated, you're going to get a lot of chattering and a lot of jerky movement. The other thing to note is because these wheels are trying to travel laterally, the front and the back need to move is the same speed as much as possible. If one of them is traveling faster than the other, it's going to want to try and go sideways or go forward or go backwards. It's not going to work as well. So you want to possibly use the encoders on here and make sure that everything's traveling at the same speed. But once you get that all figured out, it's pretty easy to get these working. So this was your Thursday new product post. We've got some really cool switches this week, and of course, the mechanism wheels are really awesome. 
So hopefully you guys can put this to good use and check out the rest of the post. We have a lot more products that weren't in the video and we'll see you again next week for another Thursday new product post.